Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of a multi-part series that I will be making probably for about the next three or four months. So, obviously, you came here because of the title. This is a question that everybody has asked. Um, where do you buy your first lightsaber? This is the beginner's guide to buying lightsabers. This is a part one, or this is part one, should I say. None of this is scripted, by the way. I'm just speaking from the heart, which is what I normally do on my videos, and I think it's the best approach, because I don't want to treat you guys as, like, customers. I want to treat you guys as, like, a friend that I'm trying to help out in buying lightsabers. So, I'm going to escape here and just X out of that. The first company that we have, this is a top five, by the way, is Saber Forge. Saber Forge is pretty much Ultra Sabers, but a lot more reliable and a lot higher quality. Ultra Sabers, I can't stress enough, never buy from Ultra Sabers unless you like want to waste money, pretty much. Ultra Sabers is not only are they a malicious company, but the quality of their sabers have not changed since like 2013, which is seven years ago, and technology has advanced a lot in seven years. So, they have a wide variety of stuff here. They have Eco, which you can read the definition here. High on features, low on price. They come with sound, three sound fonts, V4 dueling blade, inhale recharge, and a blade plug, which is actually quite a lot for um, a saber that is $120. That is actually a really good deal. However, their sabers are... How do I say it? Their customer support is not the greatest. Uh, it's better than... Uh, Ultra Sabers, and they have improved over the years, and they also have an Etsy store, which is actually better than the site, so I would recommend ordering from the Etsy store, however, the Etsy store is not as customizable as the site. You have Shoto here, which is like one-handed stuff, uh, you can see this one's kind of modeled after Luke Skywalker, Apprentice, which are kind of like Eco, except probably better crafted. And probably more comfortable. Elite Sabers. These ones are modeled after characters mainly. Some of them aren't. Um, I know someone who has this. And uh, it's really nice. So uh, Obviously this one's modeled after Cal Kestis. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Qui-Gon Jinn. Ahsoka Tano. Count Dooku. Another Obi-Wan one. They have two. Uh, this one's more movie accurate. Luke Skywalker. You know all this stuff. And I believe that they do have uh, the Graflex. Uh, they don't have a uh, skinny flex, though. You can see Darth Maul here. And exotic, this is just, like, crazy stuff. You know, quite expensive. They they even sell an axe, so. <laughs> crystal is pretty much elite, except it comes with a crystal on the inside, which I would not recommend buying a crystal saber as your first saber, since they are pretty complex. Next up, we have Kyber Light. This... This company reminds me a lot of Lego. You, If we go to Sabres here, you can see that it comes with the base hilt and then it comes with some parts. Kind of like a Lego set, how it comes with like um, the characters and then it comes with like some pieces that you can use. And you can uh, use pretty much any piece on uh, the one hilt, on the same hilt. So, it comes with a 24 inch blade. Not very good, um, in my opinion, for like a blade option. But you can see here, intended for ages 6 to 10. Yeah, this one this one is uh, for, like, uh, little kids. But they do have uh, better sabers. I actually have a friend who has a cabriolet, and it's pretty nice. So, you can see here, uh, this one, I believe, yeah, the Night Pack. Which I think is the most popular one that they have. This one's up for pre-order, though. Got the Master Pack. Oh, let me go back here. And the Master Pack, you can see it comes with more... Like a variety of stuff, you can combine them in any way you want. They're pretty great, in my opinion. I've never gotten from them, but as I said before, I know someone who's gotten from them, and it's pretty cool. So they are a really nice company. Next, we have the Pack Store. This store is pretty good, in my opinion. I don't. I've never seen any of their sabers in real life, uh, but I've seen so many reviews on them that say that they are. Very good. And they're also pretty cheap as well. You can see here, this is a, a model of Princess Leia's um, 
what's it called? Lightsaber. I just drew a blank there. And you can see here, um, that, that right there, it looks like a lot, but when it comes down to it, this is a movie accurate replica fully installed with the Profi board, which is the most, one of the best soundboards in my opinion. However, I would not recommend getting Profi if you are a beginner. If you are a beginner, Profi is very hard to use. It is very hard to program. So, I am experienced and I have a Profi and I still have no idea how it works. Uh, it's like very difficult to program. So, uh, if you want to get Profi, I would recommend looking at some videos on how to use it and how to program it before you actually buy it. I don't know what Astera Heart is. Maybe it's their own soundboard. I wouldn't recommend getting it until you research it though. That is that is the main thing that you need to do is research um, lightsaber companies before buying from them. I can't, I can't stress that enough. Um, if you don't research, then you're going to end up buying from a company like Ultra Sabers. And if you do research about Ultra Sabers and you only look at the reviews on their website, you are going to think that they're a good company, but they're not. Those reviews are fake and they delete all the bad ones. And they actually reward you for giving them a good review, which you know is a bad sign. Next is Revan Sabers. This is more of a small company, but from what I've seen a fellow, from a fellow YouTuber, they are a very nice company. Everything that they have, I believe, is ready to ship. You can see that they only have nine stuff here, but they're currently doing a sale, so I would recommend going and buying from them now. Let's go to uh, this one right here. A little bit of a basic design, but you can really see, even in just the images, that this is very nicely crafted. And apparently they are super comfortable too. You can see here, they give a lot of descriptions about it, a lot of details. You can see here, these, here are the Etsy reviews. 32 shop reviews, they're all 5 star. I actually messaged them. Um, just saying that I was planning on ordering from them soon. From what I've seen, they are an amazing company. And they complimented me and said that they would watch the video if I made one on it. Which I will be making one soon. And I highly recommend ordering from them. Their customer support is very nice. And they have very nice sabers. They're kind of like a mini version of the last store that I'm going to review. And that last store is Saber Trio. This is the best company for experienced people or experienced um yeah experienced people and unexperienced people this company i can't i can't even describe how great they are they are so so good for those who don't know actually this saber right here is the one that i uh, unboxed and i got 400,000 views on that video and i can't even like describe how good this company is they are one of the best companies that i've ever seen out of anything, not just lightsaber companies, out of anything, they are really, really, really awesome. You can go here, and they sell out, like, within 24 hours whenever they open. And they are actually having a reopening on Black Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, as you can see, everything is sold out. The reason why I am including Saber Trio is not only because they are, they are amazing, but also specifically because they are having an event in two days. So, actually, less than two days. I will be copying one of these. I think, do they have the ready to ship? They do not have the ready to ship on here yet. But the ready to ship event is pretty much, they just build a bunch of sabers and sell them. And they always sell out. As you can see, everything is sold out here. This one is Cal Kessis inspired. I know it doesn't look it. But uh, if you go to images here, um, you can see that it, it comes with like claws. So, or maybe, actually, I don't think you have to order them separately, but maybe you do. Okay, so it does not, it does not, I think you have to select it. Okay, so if I go to, like, the stunt saber here. Um. Trying to look here. Okay, so, maybe it does come with the shroud, I'm not sure. And it is called a shroud. I just saw that in the description. This is the one that I will be getting and doing a review on. I will pro The review will probably be out in less than two weeks. So this is the one that I currently have. Let's go to their cheapest model, the Arcolite. If we go to pictures here, you can already see that this is a very nicely crafted saber. It looks, it kind of does look like a flashlight just specifically because of the grip here. But besides that, it looks very comfortable to wield. 
if I go here, I'm just going to like design this to my liking, re rechargeable stunt saber. You can see you can select, you can get this acid etched, meaning that they will like engrave a message into the hilt and like style it any way you want. They can put like a pattern embedded into the metal. Uh, you can do like the, um, you can like obviously get a message on it. You can put your name on it. You can really do anything with the acid etch and they will um, contact you. They don't like give you a list of uh, options to choose from. They'll contact you and ask you what you want it to be specifically. You can choose from anything. They don't like give you a list to choose from. They're like, what do you want? What do you want us to put on this saber? And you tell them and they'll be like, okay, we can do that. And you can see here, um, mirrored. You can get it mirrored. You can just get it regular. They have dark edition and then they have the weathered. Which, uh, personally, if I was getting a stunt saber, I think I'd just get the brushed silver black, or I would get the black. Blade color, uh, green, I've always been a green lightsaber kind of guy. Blade length, 32 inch heavy grade, I do that every time. Blade tip, parabolic, I would recommend parabolic, by the way, and I'm only going through this just to show you guys, like, the, the total price. I go with red for that, and then red with the Covertech wheel, too. Oh, I guess I don't have it. Um, then I go with just, uh, I go with black, actually. Blade plug, do not include. Covertech clip, do not include. So, $126 for a very well-crafted saber that is rechargeable, that has, like, the color you want, obviously. Comes with a heavy grade blade that's dual-worthy, like, for full contact dueling. So, like, you can, like, hit it, like, super hard and it won't break. Obviously, a really nice blade tip. If you haven't seen the blade tips on Saber Trios, they really blend with the Saber really nicely, actually. Obviously, red activation switch, stuff like that. For $126, that is a really good deal. And shipping, I believe, is $40, so that's $166 for a stunt Saber that is the best crafted out of any Saber company. And Ultra Sabers will charge you probably, like, $20 cheaper. But what they will give you for it is $100 cheaper in value, should I say. I don't know if I worded that correctly, but you know what I mean. This company is awesome. You know, um, customer support has been amazing. Um, I was having a problem with, um, I think I, I dropped my saber and the speaker started acting weird. So I messaged them about it and they offered um, for me to send my saber out to California and to re-smold it or whatever it's called, um, solding to, in order to redo the entire, um, speaker. And mine wasn't even on warranty. So they are just awesome. They have awesome customer support. Uh, one time I accidentally ordered mid grade. I asked them, I said, can I change it to heavy grade? And they said, yes, which is a $10 extra charge. And I asked them, I said, okay, how can, are you going to like charge my account or do I have to do anything about that? And they said, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. They didn't charge anything extra. Obviously I'm not saying, you know, to go and do that a hundred percent of the time. Cause uh, I just think that maybe I got uh, lucky or something like that, but they have awesome customer support. They are really, really, really nice people. They do respond uh, within two days, I'd say for customer support, but that is because everybody loves them and everybody's talking to them all the time. Um, I know a YouTuber um, who I talked to, and he was telling me that they were partnering with them, and now you can uh, get, like, if you enter in a coupon code, you can get stickers that are, like, art of him, pretty much, or, like, you know, like, fan art of him, and they come with the box, and they designed it, or he designed it with Saber Trio himself, like, their customer support is just top-notch. I've been talking about the Saber Company for, I think, six minutes now. I honestly can't describe how great they are they are absolutely incredible if you have seen my review on the saber trio falcon um you know how much i love saber trio and every time they open i will order from them now and i really 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 see a bright future in saber trio saber trio if you're watching this if disney ever contacts you asking you to like um work for them Please don't take that because they're going to try and mass produce these and it's just going, the quality is going to go like down a cliff. So that is the end of this video. Um, if you can't order from Saber Trio because they're sold out when you're seeing this video, order from Rev, Rev and Sabers. If they don't have what you're looking for, 
order from pack store if pack store is too expensive because they can be a little expensive sometimes but other times they are actually super cheap i think they're um their cheapest saber is i think sixty dollars for a like a fully built saber yeah right here oh no no that's not it right here forty dollars if you want to get a blade yeah sixty dollars for a fully built saber obviously it has no sound or anything but still can't order from them order from kyber light if you don't want to order from any of these order from kyber light because they have that very like lego style aspect and obviously if you don't want to order from any of the other ones order from saber forge um saber forge would n never be my first choice in my opinion but i am planning on ordering from them sometime in the future so uh look look for when the eco sabers um are in stock because those are the best of their sabers and the apprentice ones are also like really nice so they also have neopixel i don't know if i told you that every one of these companies actually no two of them revan sabers and kyber light i don't think have uh neopixel not sure i don't no it doesn't so Paxor has neopixel Saber Forge has NeoPixel, and Saber Trio has NeoPixel. Saber Trio is awesome, and I cannot wait to see what they have in store for the future. My advice for them would be to hire a lot more employees, you know, just start expanding their business, and they will abs they will make a ton of money. It is not even funny how much money they will make, but I don't think that they really care about money all that much. Obviously, they do, but I think their passion for Sabers really just shows like how good of a company they really are so thank you guys for watching this video um all of these companies are great especially for beginners but revan sabers uh, like all of these are great for experienced people too not only for beginners but they're just the best for beginners like do not order from corbanth if you are a beginner corbanth is a great lightsaber company but their sabers are so complex, I will never be able to fully understand them. So, I don't even know how to change the color on my uh, profi. I mean, permanently, not like when using it. Which is kind of sad. I shouldn't I should know how to do that. But, these do not come with profi. Saber Trios and Neo Sabers do not come with profi. They come with Crystal Focus X, which is a great... Um, it is a great beginner soundboard. I believe this is the only one that comes with uh, Crystal Focus X on this list. Yeah, Paxor... I don't think that they sell um, Crystal Focus X, or Crystal Focus 10, excuse me, and Saber Forge. I think they use Profi. I'm not sure. I'm going to go to Elite Sabers. I'll just go with Avenger, Hero, NeoPixel. Go to Hero. Let me look here. Velocity Detecting Smooth Swing. They may have their own... Um... Oh, no, it is. It's CFX. Okay, so they, they do have Crystal Focus X. 10. I will never get used to that. Thank you guys for watching. I've been rambling on for a while now. Um, I will make a part two on best Neo Saber companies out there for um, beginners, obviously. And then I will probably make a video on the best lightsaber companies, period. Not for beginners or for experts, just whoever is the best at what they do. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want to check out my other stuff feel free to um you know like don't subscribe to me if you don't like my content because you know i'm not like that i'm not going to force you to subscribe but thank you for watching i've said this probably six times now um and i will see you in the next video hopefully good bye